Welcome back, boys and girls. Think there's any girls watching? Probably not. No. Guys, I got my shocks back from Derisi Racing. These things look awesome. They're sponsoring me this this race season, 2023. Uh, it looked like they did a phenomenal job on these. I can't wait to get them on the quad. I got my powder coating back, and uh, we got to get this on. This is what I was really waiting for, was for my handlebars here. Um, I got my flex bars, new flex bars I got put on. They sponsor me in 2023. I love these handlebars. I'll probably have them on every quad I own. So we'll get this stuff on. Hopefully we'll, we'll pick away at it today. Get some of the stuff on here. A couple other things I got to do here is uh, I got I got to put this. I got a new rear brake caliper. This this caliper here was hanging up on me for some reason. You can see the the discoloration of this of this rotor here compared to the front. So I'm gonna get, I got a, a couple other little things I did. Off camera was I re-heat taped the gas tank here. I put new heat tape underneath here for the, the exhaust. And uh, a couple other little things I had to do. I put a new coolant tank on here, reservoir. The old one, the inlet and outlet were actually melted a little bit in there. So I put a new coolant tank on. I also replaced this hose here, and like the other hoses I showed you earlier, I cut cut this uh, another piece of uh, radiator hose. I doubled that up, zip tied it on there, just so it doesn't rub through. So um, we'll get we gotta get these parts on here. I gotta adjust the toe on this thing, and uh, we'll get these parts on here and get it back together. So stick around. So this is the part I was really waiting for in order to mount my handlebars here. This is that MZM, top part of the MZM stem, their anti-vibration mount. And I made it up, uh, made this plate to go on a, this J parts steering stem. So this is what I was waiting for. So I love that setup um, with the anti-vibration. So we're going to get this installed here. This is the first thing I got to in get installed. And then, uh, man, that thing looks awesome, that green. Uh, I gotta get this installed and then I can get my handlebars on and, and adjust my toe and get that all, all straightened out. So let's get after it. So this is a, a rear diff brace at BNR cells. I don't know if anybody else carries it. Basically, it goes goes back here and uh, stiffens up this between the the bottom rails and the top rear diff brace here. So this stiffens it up, makes it a little stronger. And uh, I also have this got this powder coated. This sits on the back right here, so it's gonna look awesome.
So I want to show you guys what I use for this heat reflectant tape here. It's called uh, Reflect the Gold. You see it, see it there. Um, it comes in a two-inch roll. This is a thirty-foot. It's it's pretty expensive. I had I bought it off of Amazon, but it had a lot of good reviews. I had it on here last year, and it and it did not burn up. It seemed to hold on pretty well, even though it gets really hot by the exhaust. Um, I would recommend putting on your heat shields uh, around your your gas tank. I know it comes uh, it has some tape on there from the factory. But if it ever wears off, um, I highly recommend this, this Reflect the Goal. It seems to work pretty good. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the, the handlebars kind of mocked up here. I gotta adjust the toe. Uh, it's definitely off from putting the steering stem and the pitman arm off on. I'm just gonna get it in the ballpark um, and now once I get the tires on and on the ground, I can actually go and uh, adjust it the right way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a straight edge basically from this rear caliper. I'm going to clamp it on here, run it all the way up to the front, try, try to get it pretty close. And then, uh, like I said, once I get the wheels on, I can, I can make the final adjustments, but it's, it's, it's off quite a bit right now. And, uh, we'll get it adjusted. I got one of the handlebars on here, so. Let's get after it. the handlebars on these flex bars are awesome i love flex bars uh, i gotta get the hand guards on yet but i'm waiting on two little pieces for powder coating uh the next thing i want to do here is get the air box on and i'm going to show you i had to buy new air boxes when i flipped the quad over the handlebar or the steering stem cracked the air box so i had to buy a brand new air box here and uh when you tip them over uh the steering stem 
it has a tendency to crack the air box right here because the, the steering stem sits right here. So what I did was I had some sticky foam, uh, a pad, sticky foam pad, and I just I put it in there. I don't know if it's going to help or not. Um, just to, in case it, I do flip it over again, it has some maybe a little cushioning and it'll help prevent the the air box from cracking. So um, one thing I did was I pulled the throttle body off I cleaned that all up there was quite a bit of oil in there it was kind of dirty from the oiled air filter I use a twin air uh, oiled air filter so there's a little bit of oil residue in there um, I cleaned that all out so uh, I'm going to get this air box on and uh, we'll cut you on the other side the air box back on here a little bit of a pain getting this thing on um, but we got it on so next thing I got to do is I'm gonna put a air filter I'm running a twin a twin air filter uh, oiled filter and and the kit basically comes with a foam filter it comes with this adapter here that goes in your air box we'll put that in there since this is a new air box all it does is a slide in there it's got a bigger opening here for the, the twin air filter. So we'll just put that in there. And then basically we gotta get the filter. So this this just basically slides in here. And I, I already oiled this filter. So it's got a uh, oil on it already. You're not gonna get a performance gain out of this. But uh, if you're racing in really dusty conditions, you'll save your motor from the from the motor sucking in the dusty air. So it does a great job at filtering out the dust. Some of these races we were in are you can't see your front bumper and they're so dusty. But these do a great job of uh, saving your motor. So put that in there. Uh, one little trick that was on here, so sometimes these air box covers will come off or they'll they'll actually strip out here. So what we're what we do is we'll drill a couple holes. See here, we'll drill a hole here on the lid and on the side right there, and we'll run a zip ties through it uh, just to hold it on there for, for riding in a rough rough terrain. So I'm gonna get this zip tied on here and they'll keep the lid on there uh, when you're racing. I'm gonna cut these off and this should wrap it up. Got them zip ties on there, all cut off, flush, and uh, plastics will go right over that. Works out really good. All right, so the last thing I gotta do is I gotta change this caliper here. Like I said, um, I bought a used one off of eBay. Um, right here. Uh, it, didn't, it looked like it was in really good shape, so I purchased it pretty cheap, 85 bucks uh, compared to 225 for a brand new one. So this, I think there's a lot of play in this caliper for some reason it was hanging up, um, causing this rotor to get hot. So I just opted to replace it. Uh, 
put this new one on. I'll have to bleed through all the, all the brakes. I've never done that on a Can-Am, so it's going to be my first time. I'm going to be learning. Um, and once I when I get it done and over with, I'll uh, I'll tell you how it went. And if I had any problems, I'll, I'll go through that. So I know you have to do the rear brakes, this, this back uh, left brake first. And then the back right, and then the front is separate on this quad. It's 2018, so the front and rear brakes are separate. But I'll have to go through and bleed the front too. So I'm gonna get after this. If I run into any problems, I'll highlight it for you, and uh, I'll catch you on the other side. One thing I did notice when I was bleeding the brakes, I only used the rear brakes on this, and uh, I hardly ever use the front brakes, but the rear brake fluid was burnt. It was really bad. They were The brakes were a little spongy, um, so I, it was probably due to that burnt brake fluid. But next thing I gotta do is put the plastics on this thing, and uh, should be ready to roll.